Hi, welcome to my video on the Joby Telepod 325. Now this is the smaller cousin to the Tight Grip Pro. And I'll quickly go around the box. As you can see, it's a stick, <laughs> stick. I am tongue tied today, folks. It is a tripod selfie stick, mainly used for your point and shoot cameras. Now I'll go around the box. As you can see, it has a picture of the Telepod Pro or the 325. And it's got a Sony camera on top, but basically it's for your point and shoot cameras. It swivels around the top part in 360 degrees in any tilt. On the side, it just shows you what other cameras you can place on there. You can place your 360 cameras, your action cameras and point and shoot. And you can even place your phone on there if you've got a phone mount, which you don't get with the box here. You do get it with the Grip Tight Pro, but you don't get it with the Telepod. And it's just basically showing you on the, around the box um, basic um, description and specifications of the actual um, unit. And back on that side, just a picture of the Joby again, just with the camera on there. This is what you get in the box. You get a simple little leaflet, just basically telling you how to use the Telepod and it's in different languages. And we have the Telepod itself. I'll go through what you get on the Telepod and I'll start at the very top. At the very top here, we get a small, I'd say micro ball head. And this ball head is made out of metal. So the majority of it is made out of metal. The only thing that is plastic on there is the top part here is made out of plastic and that red ring with the arrow on there is made out of plastic. Now the arrow is to indicate you at the top of this um, tripod legs here, which is made out of metal, but coated in plastic. It has a little diagram of a lock, closed lock and an open padlock. That's to show you how to lock the stem up, but I'll come to that later on. We come down and as you can see, it has three legs. Each legs are made out of a thick plastic, very thick plastic with this grippy coated rubber all the way down. Now it is, it is um, dim, has a dimple effect on the main part of the legs and then smooth on the bottom. But it, as, as you come down to the bottom, it does come to these rubber legs. Now at, back up to the top again, which I missed, you do get this lanyard, which you can remove it yourself. But when you do get it, um, this is already placed on there. So you get this nice wrist lanyard, but you don't get no kind of adjustment um, pin on there or lock on there. So be aware of that. Now I'm going to explain to you about the holes on this. The first hole here on each leg is for a remote. Now, if you've got the Joby Tight Grip Pro, you get a remote, then that's to operate your mobile phone shutter. And the remote sits in a cradle. So the cradle is connected and fastens on by these holes and you can simply remove it like so. Now, if you happen to have this remote, you can simply place it on the telepod the same way as the tight grip and it just pushes in and that's your remote on there. Now you only get the remote with the tight grip pro, not with the telepod 325. And last, the bottom hole is for you to anchor it down on soil or grass. Now, if you happen to have um, pins to anchor down um, small tents, and that you can use that same pin. So when this is outstretched like so, you can use a pin to anchor it down, um, tent pins to anchor this down. You probably only need one because it's such a small tripod, but you only need one to anchor it down. So that's what these holes are for at the bottom. It's just mainly to, is anchoring purposes on dirt or grass, etc. Uh, this is how the Joby Telepod 325 looks when it's fully extended. Now, the measurements, 
Joby claims is at 22 inches from the very top of the mount, excluding whatever you place on there. So the very top of the mount to the bottom of the legs is 22 inches. But I don't go by that on my videos. I go by the true extension leg of the true extension, sorry, of the stem. So it's basically at the bottom of the mount or stroke the ball head to the top of the legs stroke handle and between these two points it is 14 inches as you can see it comes in four sections so it comes out in four sections now each section has these black collars which i love what joby has done with that because the stem is in a matte black so making these collars makes it look really premium so i love that uh, the stem has two seams on either side to give it adequate strength now the seams don't run in a straight line all the way down as such. So you have the first one, the first section, the seam runs from front to back. Second section, the seam runs from side to side and then front to back again on the third and side to side on the last one. But this gives it adequate strength. So I'll give it the wobble test to see if there's any wobble within this selfie stick. And there is no wobble within this selfie stick, it, but it does loosen up when I shake it because since this uses a twist motion to lock it in place and not an actual dedicated lock system, a bit of rough and tumble with this will loosen it up. Now this is how the Joby Telepod 325 looks when it's fully extended and with the legs spread out or extended out. Now I have to say it does sit on a narrow um, footprint and a, it's about the same size as my hand and I've got medium hands. So, but because it's quite low, it is good for outside and I can understand why they put, and I like, well, understand and like how they put these holes at the bottom here so you can peg this down, which I've noticed that no other manufacturer of um, selfie stick tripods actually do that. So when it comes to in this configuration here, you just have to be mindful that if you're gonna take this outside and you've got a phone on there or even as a, a phone with a phone mount on there and it's a large phone, it may blow over. So you have to be aware of that. And the same when you've got a point and shoot camera on there, you have to be mindful that because the point and shoot camera is the heaviest item on the top. Yeah, it's likely to blow over. But as I stated before, I like how you can just put a, bring a peg, a tent, a tent peg that can fit in these holes and just peg it down. We come to the part of the video where I give my two pence worth on the Joby Telepod 325. The first negative has to be with this, has to be the price this for its size and for what it does as a selfie stick tripod basically it is 31 pound 99 i paid for this so it is i know it's joby and joby stuff can be expensive but the initial price of this is a, quite a lot for for what it is now i think it should have been priced around about the 25 pound mark for this because it's only a little bit smaller than the actual um, Grip Type Pro. So personally, that should have been at a 25 pound mark. Another negative about this is because they've got these holes around the top part of the legs here, they don't provide you with a actual remote. And in the description on this, it doesn't tell you what these holes are neither. So you have to, <laughs> So that's a bit poor from them, not to tell you what these holes are actually for, but it would have been really good for that money at what I quoted, that they provided you with at least, and I'll try and get this up right, at least with a shutter button um, to operate your camera, uh, your phone. I know this is really most likely meant for your point and shoot cameras. That's why they probably didn't provide you with one of them, but for the price that you're paying, they could have threw in a shutter button with its holder to go into these holes here, which would have been really good. Another negative about this has to be 
when it's fully extended, you can't vibrate this um, selfie stick tripod too much because it uses a twist lock motion to lock each section into place, which is only which is four sections. If you, if you go with a lot of t rough and tumble or a lot of shaking about with this tripod selfie stick, you will loosen up those sections. So be mindful of that. And the very last negative has to be with this lanyard. And <laughs> I know it's from Joby, but Joby could at least printed their name on this lanyard and at least give you a kind of um, an adjustment on this lanyard as well. You know, especially for the price that you are paying for this. And now for the positives on the Joby Telepod <laughs> 325. <laughs> now the first positive has to be the build quality of this. It has excellent build quality. And I put this up there um, with Sandmark, with Smarttree and with GoPro products. Another positive has to be with this micro, and I state micro ball head, not a mini, but a micro ball head on there. I love how they make the whole entire ball head, apart from where you grip the ball head to uh, screw onto your camera, is out of um, plastic, but the whole entire ball head is made out of metal, and I completely like that, what they have done there. Also, I love the grip that they provide on the legs of this thing. It is very grippy. I mean, extremely grippy, which is quite good. So I like that. And also the thick legs that they provide you with on there. Another positive I do like is when you spread the legs out, and which I forgot to show you in the video, but I'm showing you now, and you probably see on the B-roll, that when you spread the legs out, the actual main stem does not prevent it from sitting on the ground. So I like that. <laughs> I like that because with most selfie stick tripods, you're going to have to extend the legs, sorry, extend the stem a little bit just to get it to sit on the ground. So you can't have your camera right down to the actual where the legs meet, the, um, where the legs meet the top of the selfie stick here. You're going to have to basically push it up. So I like how they provide that. Now, my overall conclusion of the Joby Telepod 325, and I got it the first time, is if you're looking for a selfie stick tripod, especially um, something a little bit bigger than the GoPro Shorty or the, oh, I can't remember, the Ulanzis, like the Ulanzis, and I can't remember, I think they're called the MT, 08 and the MT-09, if you're looking for something a little bit bigger um, to vlog with, because this will make an excellent vlog handle, providing that you've got the gear on top. This is good, because this will last you a lifetime, because it's well built. The only downer that I can see um, with this, which is a big downer, has to be the price. Um, but looking at on Amazon and on eBay, the price of the actual Tight Grip Pro, which is its bigger brother to this, is factoring out round about 70 quid, 60, 70 quid for it. So in one, in one respect, the price of this, considering that it's smaller, in one respect is okay. But I think if you hold off and try and get this in either a Black Friday sale or, or an Amazon sale, or, or even getting a used one, you'd be better off because at least you'd be paying, probably most likely when used, you'd be probably playing in the 20s for it. So try and hold out to get it on a sale than to pay the initial price of the £34. Now, if you happen to have the Joby Telepod 325, and I got it right again the second time, Please let us know down in the comment section what you think about it because your opinions are different to my opinions. So let us know down in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos can be long, but I like to go into detail to save you to trouble of when you buy the product, you know what to expect. So that's why my videos are long. Um, 
please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.